Developing out of Lake County, a two-year-old is dead after a pickup truck hit and killed him while he was on a tricycle. Just awful. Police say the driver, a 19-year-old, had been drinking before the crash. West Jews Michelle Meredith is live in Tavares this afternoon with more on how all of this could have happened. Michelle. Well, that is the question everyone is asking. Police say he appeared to be intoxicated, he appeared to be speeding, and then he turned right into the very street, a dead-end street, where the little boy was riding his tricycle. According to Tavares police, the two-year-old boy was riding his blue tricycle in the street in front of his house where he lived, the Oak Bend subdivision. His parents were in the driveway watching, enjoying the Labor Day holiday. They heard a truck in the distance appear to be speeding. Police say neighbors at first could hear the pickup truck 19-year-old Joshua Montero was driving. Witnesses say when they saw his truck turn the corner onto their street, they started screaming, then watched in absolute complete horror. The front wheel struck the child, ran over the child, and then the back wheel also ran over the child. So neighbors did everything that they could to give the child a chance. And unfortunately, just didn't happen that way. Montero stayed on the scene. Police say he looked, smelled, and acted intoxicated. So he's worried about whether or not he can get his phone from his vehicle or if he could take things out of his vehicle versus the fact that they're doing CPR on a child. His priorities are just not where they should have been. After failing a breath test, a field sobriety test, Montero was arrested, now facing the charge of DUI manslaughter. The heartbreaking scene haunts seasoned investigators. The sound of a mother's cry or a family member's cry when they lose a loved one, a child, there's nothing that compares to it. It sticks in your mind. Now, police say they're doing everything they can to try to comfort the family, including doing the best investigative work possible. In Lake County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.